All right, guys, I picked up this Kawasaki 340 snowmobile engine uh, late last winter. And it came out of a Kawasaki, must be a drifter, I think. Not sure on that, but I think this is a 1981. It's a D201. I think that's an 81. So um, I had a an engine I tore down last spring and I've been sitting outside for a number of years. And I'll put that link in the description, but the bottom end on that engine was toast and the cylinders were really nice shape. These are the cylinders here. Um, so yeah, that, I think that snowmobile only had like 800 miles on it. So I bought this pretty cheap, uh, gambling on if it had a good bottom end on it. Um, just looking through the ports here, you can see that these pistons are kind of scraped up. And I think the cylinders weren't the best either. I do have a brand new gasket kit and seals here. And I actually have brand new pistons. So if this bottom end is good, we can have a good running engine here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this um, sheet metal off and just start tearing this down. I'll bring you back in. All right, got the heads off. So that's what these look like here. Actually pretty clean. And there's the top of the pistons. And the cylinders. They actually look better than what the, I thought they were. I should mention I got a couple of trail fires that uh, this is the same motor that John Deere put in trail fires. It's the Kawasaki. So that's why I'm doing this is I can always use or have a need for this engine. All right, let's keep going. Okay, now we're down to the flywheel, so we gotta get this off. So I got a 24 millimeter socket, and we'll see if the Hercules can get that off. Got it. Took a little while. Okay, now I gotta pull this off. Okay, so I've fought with these flywheels in the past and then I broke down and actually got the right stuff. So here is the puller. Um, these things are awesome. I'll put a link in the description along with this inner twist. It's a half inch electric impact, 8.5 amp. Um, so if this ain't getting it off, nothing will. Let's give it a shot. So now we're down to the stator and what I like to do is just kind of make a mark where this is so you know where to put it back. Just put a couple scratches just so you know. And this line right there should line up with this casting here. So that's for this side and then on this side I just put a scratch up there. Okay, and then you might have to use an impact screwdriver for these. Sometimes it can be pretty tight on here and you don't wanna strip those out.
Okay, now at this point, I think we'll take the bottom half off. That's just uh, these bolts here. Okay, we got all those bolts out and there should be nothing else holding these halves together. So what we can probably do is tap on this to break that seal. coming a little bit. All right, got that off. This is actually really clean in here. This is probably the cleanest one I've ever seen. Um, there are these O-rings on the bearings that you can buy from like new breed parts or busco bullet uh this is what the case looks like a little bit of corrosion here where the seal was but that can that'll clean up but yeah that looks really clean in there So usually these crank seals on these Kawasaki's are just toast. And this one's no different, look at that. The spring's just right there. So that's why you tear these apart, because if you were to run this, this thing would be burnt down. Nothing left of it. And this surface right here where the seal goes looks pretty nice on this crankshaft, so that's good. And this one, the spring is gone. Oh, no, it's right here. So once again, no good. And here are the pistons that I ordered. And there's rings in there as well. So the plan for this is I'm going to use these cylinders that are a really nice shape. Got the new pistons, got the new seals and gaskets. I'll order some O-rings right here. These are all cracked in half. Um, so how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven O-rings. And once you get the pistons off, you can get the O-rings over the rods for these middle bearings. Um, probably have to order some sealer for the case halves. But yeah, this is gonna, this turned out good. You can see there's no rust on, on these bearings. Like I said, this is the cleanest one I've ever seen. Usually they're all pitted with rust. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video. Um, we'll continue tearing this down and we'll get, uh, we'll start reassembling. All right, thanks for watching.